Albert Einstein's Egyptian Mysteries and Relativity. Around 5,000 years ago in ancient Egypt, the cosmology and theology in a city called Heliopolis or Anu stated that in the beginning, there was only dark water called Nu, symbolic of inert nothingness and chaos. Out of the dark water of Nu, there arose a primordial mound or hill called the Ben Ben Stone. On top of the primordial stone stood a deity named Atum, who proceeded to create the rest of the world. The primordial mound was symbolized in Egyptian architecture through the construction of obelisks and pyramids. The primordial mound was personified in mythology as the deity Tanum, who was symbolic of matter or earth. The deity Atum was associated with the sun, light, and creative energy. Atum was considered a son of Ta, who created Atum through symbolic vibration called speech. This ancient African cosmological story used mythology to depict the relativistic relationship between energy or light symbolized by Atum and matter symbolized by the primordial mound or Vindin stone. Now, let us fast forward to the year 1905. A scientist by the name of Albert Einstein proposes a relationship between mass and energy in a paper entitled, Does the Inertia of a Mass Depend on Its Energy Content? The relationship expressed in this paper would go on to become known as the famous equation E equals mc squared, and it would eventually revolutionize the field of science and physics. So what is the connection between Albert Einstein's theory of relativity equation E equals mc squared and the ancient Egyptian theology of atum or energy standing on a stone or matter? Well, besides the fact that Albert Einstein's theory and the Heliopolis theology both describe a relativistic relationship between matter and energy, the name Albert Einstein actually expresses the events described in the story of a tomb standing on the primordial mound. In the German language, the name Albert means bright or light, and Einstein means on stone. Thus, the name Albert Einstein literally means light on a stone, which is exactly what is symbolically depicted in the ancient African story of a tomb or light standing on the Ben Ben stone. So it seems that not only history, but also theology and theory repeat themselves.